What's up, Loop community? My name's Edge, I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer, and in this session, we're gonna get up close and personal with automation. So let's get after it. We've got our initial pad that we've set a quick pattern to, which is really nice, it's great. But right now, if we play this back, it's gonna sound a little, well, you know, pretty flat. And by flat, I mean just not dynamic. So let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but it's also not exciting. So let's go ahead and automate some, um, some movement inside of this region. Now, when we say automate, we're not just recording the notes that we're playing, but we're also recording the settings that we're playing those notes through. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna go to the retro synth over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you that right now we're currently, uh, our envelope setting was set to about 75. I'm gonna bring it down so you can kind of hear what, what that sounds like. And I'm gonna press play. You can see that when I play it, I can move this manually. Which is nice, but what I actually want to do is I want to automate that. I want to make that automatic. I don't want to change that every time I play. So to do that, I'm going to get into automation mode. And I can either click on the automation button uh, here in the local menu bar, or I can press A, which will also get me into automation mode. And with automation mode, there's a few different modes for us to work with. So there's read, and what read is going to do is that it's actually going to read whatever automation is present. Uh, and in doing this uh, section a couple times, you can see that I've already added in some automation. And actually, 0 0.01 is where I want. You can see these little nodes here are places for you to actually draw in that automation. Um, if you wanted to, you can just click on this little line over here and just draw in the automation that you want. Um, and if you did that, read would then read the automation for you. Um, so let's go ahead and just draw in a couple lines and let's play this back so you can hear what that sounds like. Yeah, and you can see read is just gonna read whatever it is that you've written into there. Not bad. Touch, on the other hand, does a little bit different. Um, touch will read what's going on, but as you make changes, it'll also make changes to your automation level and reset it back to where you originally had it. So touch just listens for you to touch one of these um, knobs and then sets it back to the original setting. Let's see what that looks like. So I'll just press play. Yeah, and you can see that every time I let go of the knob, uh, it would reset back to its original value. So touch is pretty great. Then there's latch. What latch does is that it will read the automation that's already there. It'll let you program in automation like we just did with touch, but then instead of resetting, it'll actually latches on to the last thing that you set it to. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. So I'll go back, I'll press play. And you can see that instead of resetting, it just stays at the last setting that you were on. And the last setting is right. And what write does is that it's actually going to overwrite whatever it is that you've done. So that means that even if you don't touch anything, it actually will overwrite wherever it is that you've set your setting to. And so it doesn't just do it for the one lane either. It'll do it for whatever else you have automated on here. 
So write can be pretty risky. You probably don't want to use that all that often, um, specifically because you don't want to lose the automation that you've already started on working with. All right, I'm going to do touch though. That's really the, the one that I, I typically work with. So I'll go ahead and press play and I'll just automate in some um, settings. So that's automation, and automation is a really great tool to really bring a lot more liveliness to your mix.